Hi, my name is Audrey Thomas, founder of Organized Audrey, and today's productivity pointer has to do with maximizing the tool of Microsoft PowerPoint. Many of you probably use PowerPoint, and whether you present to five people, a room full of 50, or even 500, I want to share just a couple of tips with you that I've shared with audiences just recently, and they really got excited about them. The first tip in PowerPoint is insert a timestamp. And what this is, is you simply go up to your toolbar and you look for the Insert tab. And when you do that, you can say that you want to insert the date and the time. And I always just choose the time. And in the lower left or right hand corner, it puts the real time. And I also make sure that I put a checkbox or a check mark in the box that says to update automatically. So as I'm presenting in real time, it's giving me the actual time. And most people don't even notice the timestamp there, but it's great for when I'm presenting one on one with individuals or in a conference room type setting where there is no clock. So I can make sure that I stay on task and don't go over the time allotment that my client has given to me. The second tip I want to give to you about PowerPoint is having a black slide. There are times where you want the audience's attention to turn to you as the presenter and to take their focus off of the slide or the screen. And you can do that by using the B key. B for black, and then you hit B again and it brings your PowerPoint back. And so you don't even have to rely on a button on your remote, you just hit the B key. And if you're presenting in a room, such as a hotel conference room, oftentimes there's no natural light. And so the last thing you want to do is make the room even darker with a black screen. So in that case, use the W key and you'll get a white screen. And no, hitting the P key will not give you a pink screen. And the last tip that I want to give to you on PowerPoint is how to jump ahead in your presentation without your audience knowing. So before you even give your presentation, know your slide numbers well enough to know where there's a particular slide toward the end that if you were running out of time, you could jump to that slide and easily finish up your presentation. And the way to do this is, for example, if that slide is slide number 34 and you're partway through your presentation and you see that you're running out of time, all you do on your keyboard is enter 3, 4, and hit the enter key, and it will automatically jump you to that slide. Your audience is completely unaware that you've just skipped over several slides, and you you know, seamlessly finish up your PowerPoint presentation. So I hope that you've enjoyed these tips brought to you by Organized Audrey, where our goal is to help you get more done with less stress. Make it a great day.